Uh, my first project today is to fix the mouth. Uh, first, I'm going to get the uh, teeth re redone, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna put the bottom up upper teeth in first, and I'm doing it out of super sculpty this time, only because it'll hold its shape better than the uh, regular clay. And I'm just pressing it into the top of the mouth. I gotta do the lower lip before I put the teeth in. All right, I'm gonna be putting these together, these horses together, but I've got to work underneath the jaw. So I've gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount that so I can work on that area because it's hard to see it right now because it's under the jaw. And uh, I got to be able to reach it. It's nice to have a big piece of foam you can lay stuff on. All right, I've got the horses put together, and now I just have to take the uh, board that this is the two horses are on and put it on the turntable, and I'm going to do that in just a second. I'll be right back. All right, I got to make the uh, base or the uh, clay base for this piece, and I've got to do it in such a way that I can take the horses apart so they can cast them separately because it's going to be almost impossible to cast them together like this. So I'm going to take a piece of, uh, and this is something I learned in ceramics. I'm going to take a piece of clay or wire. What I did was I cut a little piece of board off right here because I got to have the wire go between the bases and if I had that corner pinching it would keep me from being able to pull up on the wire and cutting the bases the base uh, away from the uh, be from between the two clays I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this show you what I did I took out uh, this monster clay only because it gets hard harder than the uh, normal clay and what I've done is I've anchored the one end of the wire with the monster clay here outside of where the base will be and I've run the base or the wire between the two bases and I'm keeping it clear of the wood so when I pull up on the wire it doesn't get under the wood or snagged on the wood and then I've got the other piece of wire right here. Now, once I put the regular clay on there, it's going to hold it down in place. And that way, uh, that angle right there will work. All right, I've uh, drawn an outline of where I want the base edge to be. And uh, you can see it's kind of like an egg shapes it'll make a nice base okay what I'm doing now is I'm going to make a long piece of rolled out clay 
and make it the outline or run it along the outline of the uh, outside part of the base. Okay, I'm going to just run this around like this. And that would be the outside edge of the clay, of the uh, base. And I'll just fill in around it. All right, I'm going to keep doing that and I'll be right back. Now it's just a matter of filling in the clay. Okay, I'm going to try something. I just pulled the wire up through the clay. I'm going to see if I can take the clay apart. Pull the screw in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This works beautiful. All right, see now that's how the foundry will take it apart. All right, I'm gonna put it back together. So what I'll do is put a thin layer of clay over the uh, seam of the two bases. That way they can just pull it apart. I like the base the way it is because it shows conflict, I think. And uh, that's what's going on with the uh, total piece. So I think it kind of reflects the uh, movement of the horse. Now what I've done is I got the wire here for where the screw is and all they got to do is lift up this flap of clay. All right, I've got the base done and uh, got it all ready to go. And uh, Monday, when I come down, I'll start on the main and tail and I will should be able to finish this thing up uh, Monday night, hopefully. I'm going to get down here as early as I can Monday so I can work on it all day. It's getting late in the evening, and I need to fix dinner because I'm getting hungry. Hungry. All right, everybody. Have a great rest of the weekend, and uh, I'll see you uh, tomorrow. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.